This is my Acer Chromebook 14. It's a CB714, I think, or CB713. I forgot. Anyways, I made it into a Plex server, and this is kind of a rough overview of how, how I was able to do it by installing Linux, of course. Uh, Chrome OS can't run a Plex Media server, but if you install Linux, you can do pretty much uh, a lot of stuff. I'll show you. It's dual booted with Chrome OS as well as Kubuntu right now. And I'll roughly go over what I did. Uh, this isn't really a uh, tutorial, but I just kind of want to roughly go over what I did to get it to work with the. Actually, this is an Acer Chromebook 13. <laughs> um, so, bought this used for around $75. First step is I needed to turn on Chrome OS developer mode. You can Google that, it's pretty easy. Um, turn on developer mode and then afterwards I use Mr. Chromebox Tech, so the second step, to install uh, using the firmware utility script, I installed the legacy firmware. You can probably install the full UEFI firmware if you uh, make a hardware change inside of the laptop. I didn't want to do that because uh, uh, I, I don't like opening up my laptop. But anyways, if you install the legacy firmware, that will give you access to uh, uh, being able to install Linux. Um, after I used the firmware utility to install the legacy firmware, boot firmware, I was able to then use CHRX over here from chrx.org. They have steps on here on how to do it, but if you run this uh, script through terminal, um, one, it'll allow you to repartition the internal uh, hard drive, the seventh partition, I believe. Um, so you can resize it to however big you need uh, Linux to be. I think I made Linux to be around 30 or 40 gigabytes. And then I reran it a second time, installing Kubuntu, this script uh, from CHRX. Once that was done, I had Kubuntu. I just had to go to uh, Plex's website over here, download the media server. I think I did it this way. Uh, run and install it, and then I had Plex media server here on the top left. Uh, the biggest problem after that was um, I was using an NTFS external hard drive. It's a USB 2.0, two and a half inch spinning hard drive, but it, it was NTFS as well as uh, an external hard drive. So it ha uh, Linux has some issues reading NTFS external hard drives. So if you Google it, you might find uh, a way to properly mount an external hard drive that's using uh, NTFS. Uh, I wish I, kn I had the link somewhere, but I, I don't know. You have to fix the, the mounting. Otherwise, when you try to add movies and other media, it doesn't work well. So anyways, uh, I was able to do that. And uh, now I'm able to use Plex Media Server. So let me show you. I have some old Kirby episodes on here. That's on my Plex Media Server. And I can watch it from my tablet now. Uh, one ongoing issue I'm having with playing these videos, you can see it runs fine. Uh, one issue I'm having with this is the external USB 2.0, uh, 2.5 inch drive. It keeps on unmounting, and so I have to remount it. Uh, it's pretty random. It happens after, could happen after a day or a few days, so I'm trying to figure out What's the easiest way to re-enable it? I think I can SSH into the uh, Linux, this Linux laptop and fix the mount, but still it's kind of annoying. Um, so that's my ongoing, ongoing issue. Um, but so anyways, just made this video to show that it's possible to run Plex Media Server uh, and use it as a, uh, this Chromebook uh, 13 as a Plex Media Server after you install Linux. And I just want to show some of the steps that you need to do. Uh, I'll put it in the description, but um, so uh, 
the reason why I did this is just because it was a cheap alternative. Uh, I wanted to have a Chromebook, a cheap Chromebook, which I got for $75, which is running an i5, an older i5 processor. Um, it doesn't say over here, but it says over here. Older i5 processor, but I mean, for $75, I just had to install Ubuntu and now I can use it as a regular laptop and using it as a, a media server. With the screen on right now, it's using about 13 watts of or 12 watts of electricity. Um, does, it doesn't use much electricity. And when I close the screen and it, the screen turns off, it uses a lot less electricity. You can see now it's down to six watts. It idles around five to six watts without the screen on. And then once I play a video on there, it can uh, use more electricity. I'm not sure why it's not, why it's going down. <laughs> See over there, it's went to spike to eight. So this is when it's trying to read the hard drive, external hard drive. And go up to 10 watts but then it goes down so it runs around seven to eight watts for like a 480 maybe a 380p video under 10 watts with a 720 to 1080p video so that's it i just want to show how much electricity is using and that's one of the benefits of running a laptop that was converted a chromebook that was converted into a Linux laptop that's running uh, Plex Media Server. Here's Kirby over there.